So guys, welcome with another video. In this video, we will discuss about Sun Yat-sen University. So you can see it's a public university in Guangzhou, China. So this university, also known as Gongshan University, is a public research university located in Guangzhou. So Guangzhou, China, it was founded in 1924 by the name after Sun Yat-sen. Uh, primarily and founded of Republic of China so that's why their name is according to this so you can see these different information so let's go into official website for official website you have to click on website you will be directly in official website from here you can see these different information like about news academics research international student library SYSU and the word jobs like giving to SYSU when we will go down you can see these news academy announcement these are different kind of information so let's go into departments from here you can see Chinese history philosophy physical education psychology stematology liberal arts college Lingnan college art business chemistry communication and design computer science and engineering cyber security electronic and information environmental science and engineering foreign languages geography government information management school of law life sciences Muslim material science and engineering mathematics national secrecy nursing pharma physics public health sociology and anthropology School of System Science and Engineering and School of Medicine. So here are campuses. You can see Department of Chinese, Zhuhai. These are in Zhuhai and these are almost same departments. So you can see these all. So let's talk about Shenzhen campus. So you can see these are the Department of Shenzhen campus and this was of Zhuhai. So when you will go down, you can see affiliated their hospitals. So let's go into another tab that is of scholarships. So you can see these different information like online apply, scholarships, self-funded visa services. So these are the different kind of information. So let's go into scholarships. From here, you can see these different information. see in scholarships there are different scholarship application guide for 2022 chinese study program and government guidelines for built and road and these are for 2021 and 20 so you can see these public administration and belt and road chinese government scholarships so for sino us degrees so let's go into application guidelines so from here you can see chinese study program phd fellowship you can see introduction and eligibility so for phd fellowship in china should have hsk level if you are applying for chinese program so certificate with 180 points or above applicant for joint research phd fellowship program should have hsk level 3 applicant for phd program in china should have obtained master's degree or be fresh graduate so application for joint research phd fellowship registered doctoral student at foreign universities applicant who have awarded chinese government scholarship are not allowed to apply so keep in mind this thing and scholarship cover you can see these different information guideline and guideline for PhD fellowship and enrollment Chinese version and English version so application procedure you have to apply applicants should have login to this so let's go here and for this online there are portal as well so we have just gone through this in last step so scholarship review you can see these are materials passport graduation certificate and complete transcript chinese proficiency recommendation letter research proposal research publication master thesis abstract and other research publication applicant for the joint research phd fellowship program to provide the extract of the doctoral distraction physical examination certificate or non-criminal record application form 
supporting documents, commitment letter, application information, and for deadline you can see Feb 28, 2022. And for selection procedure, you can see qualification review, assessment, education, admission, and others, and supervision. Admitted student must complete registration procedure according to registration. Applicant should be responsible for the material submitted in accordance with the related regulation and requirement of the Ministry of Education, the Office of International Affairs Admission and supplementary provision and for content you can access these information you can just send them email for any information so this is the portal of CECSP you can register here yourself and for another enrollment guideline for belt and road so you can see these information so you can see applicants should excellent high school graduate recommended by institution in 10 Asian countries so you can see Grey, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. So quota, 50 quota per country in principle, and no more 150 in total. So you can see eligibility, you can see all these information. So for deadline before April 30, so you can just access this information. Applicant should be in good health. Applicant should be in high school and application should be recommended by the SYSU countries. So language proficiency, HSK level 5, outstanding applicants with an HSK, applicant under the 180 before September. So you can see these different information, application deadline April 40, application procedure. These are the different links you can follow for applying. So valid passport, high school certificate, recommendation letter, two recommendation letter from your previous school or you can say university, transcript, Chinese language proficiency, physical examination, personal statement, documents, and non criminal record, graduation guarantee, supporting documents, commitment letter, and major and their division. So you can see these different majors. So let's go for these all as we mentioned in our first step so you can see these information for scholarship you can see a subsidy of 30,000 per student per academic year so guaranteed period selection procedure interview and supervision and supplementary provision so these are the emails you can just send them if you are facing any difficulty while applying so this is account for csc you have to apply for csc first then just send have to apply here and for acceptance letter you have to send emails to your concerned professor so this is all from my side if you are facing any difficulty while applying feel free to contribute me thanks so much for watching